this is for the Big Bang Theory video. So please make sure that you are on page 5 of your notebook and follow along as we go through the PowerPoint. Now at the beginning of your notes, there is no slide for the beginning of your notes. So we're going to fill in the beginning of your notes together. So just listen as we go through the first three blanks on what is a theory. A theory is an explanation of observations. It is based on a hypothesis and it is supported by evidence from testing. So again, that is an explanation of observations based on a hypothesis supported by evidence from testing. This slide that you are currently looking at is the steady state versus the Big Bang Theory. So number one covers the Big Bang and number two covers the steady state theory. So the steady state theory explains that the universe has always been present in an unchanged form. So that means that the universe expands at a uniform rate and it does not change. There is no beginning or end and the universe is unchanged. For the Big Bang Theory, uh, for the Big Bang Basics, all matter and energy during the Big Bang period was squished together in an infinitely small point. So that means everything that existed in the universe was squished together at one time. There was an unknown agent that caused the point to explode and that beginning stage is called the primordial stage of the Big Bang Theory. So that point exploded into the primordial stage and we had three things, protons, neutrons, and electrons that existed. They were called the elementary particles and those were the only three things that existed because of the severely high temperatures in the universe. Then came the radiation era. This is when the universe began to cool down and it was not so hot in the universe because it consisted mainly of electromagnetic radiation. This is also the place where life begins to form because as the universe cooled down more, the simplest of atoms began to take control and radiation no longer dominated and this is what we call cosmic background radiation had been formed which is also called the microwaves so cosmic background radiation is also called the microwaves then we get to the expanding universe so as the big bang as the big bang or after the big bang the universe was thought to be expanding outward from a tiny bubble so this is the tiny bubble that we think caused the universe to start to expand and we also know that there is a red shift in the universe because the refracting or bending of light will bend towards the red end of the spectrum and that bending of the light causes the scientists to think that the universe is still expanding today. The uniform distribution of matter. This is when we have confirmed this. This means that all of the matter in the universe is the same throughout. It has been distributed evenly throughout the universe. It is confirmed by the galaxy survey and it is also confirmed by low levels of fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation. And another word for fluctuations is changes. So there have been low level changes in the background radiation that scientists have been able to observe. And the one scientist that we need to remember and know for the Big Bang Theory is Edwin Hubble. In 1929 he created Hubble's Law which proposes that the expanding universe is based upon that redshift principle and he called this the Doppler effect. So that is when you are, if you think about a fire truck, the further away it is, the least you can hear the siren, but as it gets closer, the siren gets louder. And when it starts to move away from you again, the siren starts to get lower. So the same thing applies to light and sound in space. The further away you are, the less you can see and hear it, and the closer you are to it, the more you can see and hear it. And the redshift principle also 
states that particles emit light waves that refract or bend towards a certain line and this is called the red shift principle and this helps to measure velocity which is the speed and direction that the galaxy is moving away from the earth so scientists study the red shift and look at the light that is moving away from the earth and they measure that in velocity which again is speed and direction and that's how we can determine that our universe is expanding outward from the Big Bang Theory. So after you have finished filling out your notes, if you need to go back through the PowerPoint again, I know this is our first one that we're doing for the year, so you can start the video over and go through it again if you need to. Please make sure that you complete the summary page at the bottom, and you need to write a five-sentence summary to explain all the notes and be sure to use complete sixth grade sentences and you also need to make sure that somewhere on the summary page that you have a parent sign on the summary page so that we know that you have done your homework assignment uh, that is due by Friday so please make sure that you complete the notes do the summary page and have a parent sign it on the summary page so you can get credit for Friday when you show your teacher that you have completed the Big Bang Theory. So after you have completed this one, please look for the astronomers video that will go with page six of your notebook. We will see you tomorrow.